Kumar and Mr. Khan have gone trekking with Rocky, the instructor at the gym who they work out with. Kumar and Mr. Khan are completely out of breath. Rocky laughs. You guys chose this trek. Keep moving or you will miss the sunrise. Kumar and Mr. Khan exchange alarmed glances. Mr. Khan says, I see you are doing two jobs at the same time. Isn't that tiring? Rocky grunts, I can't help it. Don't have enough money and I hardly have any savings and the savings that I have don't yield anything. Mr. Khan says, you don't just save, you need to invest in such times. What if I were to tell you I could teach you how to make more money from your existing money? Rocky stopped for the first time that day. How? he asked. Mr. Khan says, investing in mutual funds instead of saving it in traditional investments is a pretty good option for starters. But you need to know how. Rocky says, please, tell me how. Mr. Khan says, sure, I will need about five minutes. It's a bit tough to explain while I'm out of breath. Let's stop. Rocky says, sure, Kumar, give him some water. Mr. Khan sits down on a rock. Kumar gives him the water and also a thankful smile. They exchange a knowing glance. Mr. Khan begins his discourse like a monk on a hill. Before you do any investment, you first have to decide about the goal you are investing towards. It could be to take a holiday, open a gym, or study a course and change your career. It's just like choosing a trek based on a goal of whether you just want a fitness activity or whether you want to spot wildlife or just catch the sunrise. You can also think of short-term, medium-term and long-term goals and which of these goals are flexible and which are non-negotiable. Rocky and Kumar nod. After you have set the goals in your mind, the next thing you have to do is to choose how long you want to invest for. Decide whether it's a short investment like a trek of a few hours up and down a hill or whether you are willing to do a long-term investment which is like a long trek that takes a few days through the mountains and forests. If you are investing for an extremely short duration, say for emergencies, it is recommended to invest in a liquid fund. On the other hand, if the time period for your goal is for a short time between six months and three years, it may be a good idea to invest in an ultra-short duration fund or low duration fund. For periods of above three years, a short duration fund is likely to be the appropriate investment. For a medium duration, one should consider a balanced hybrid fund. If you have the capacity for a longer duration Himalayan trek equivalent of say seven years and above, then one could choose to invest in an equity fund. This is the minimum time horizon. Rocky is all years now and he's pulled out a small notepad and started taking notes gratefully. Once you decide what kind of trek you want to go for, what duration and for what purpose, it's important to choose the right location. Similarly, the next important thing is to choose the right fund to invest in. Analyzing your needs and investment objectives will help you to move towards your decision of mutual fund investment. Mr. Khan continues. It is also crucial to check the expense ratio. Expense ratio includes management fees, administrative costs and operating expenses. Also, remember to check for exit loads. What are exit loads? asks Rocky. Exit load is a cost the investor has to bear if he or she sells the mutual fund units before the predefined time frame. Rocky nods. Mr. Khan continues, it is also important to assess the risk of the schemes that we are investing in. For this, we have a riskometer which informs us about the risk that a mutual fund carries. The riskometer has five categories of risk, low, moderately low, moderate, moderately high and high. The riskometer helps categorize mutual fund schemes according to the risk they carry. However, while it helps to understand the risk factor of the scheme, the riskometer alone will not help select a scheme to invest in. You have to do that yourself or with the help of an advisor by determining your risk appetite and the goal you intend to invest for. Rocky says, but why would anyone choose a high risk fund? Well, says Kumar, just like we chose to risk trekking through an area with wildlife for a glimpse of the sunrise from this heavenly mountaintop. Rocky smiles. You consider the risk, but make the decision based on your goals and risk appetite. Let's say you want to invest for seven years. If you are a conservative risk taker, you can choose debt funds. But if you are a moderate risk taker, you can add some equity and may want to choose balanced funds. If you want to be aggressive and don't mind taking risks, choose equity mutual funds. Kumar continues. 
Exactly, says Mr. Khan. Well said. While past performance does not guarantee future returns, it is a good idea to evaluate if the long-term performance of a fund has been consistent. Kumar says, I wouldn't dare to come on this trek with any guide who wasn't as competent and experienced as you. I chose my fund managers as carefully. Rocky smiled year to year. Mr. Khan says, that's exactly what you should do while choosing the fund as well. Check its performance for not one or two years, but for the last seven to ten years. For example, if you are looking to invest in a multi-cap fund, you should check how the fund has performed over the last seven to ten years against the multi-cap category average and the benchmark, which could be an index like Nifty. Kumar asks, so should I invest in a fund with a low NAV? Wouldn't it mean higher profits? Mr. Khan replies, This is a common myth. Just like a cheaper trek doesn't mean a better value for money experience, a lower NAV doesn't mean higher profits. Neither does a fund with a huge size guarantee returns. They also need to consider volatility ratios. The volatility ratio is a measure that helps investors follow the volatility of the mutual fund's price and hence performance. Rocky finishes off his notes. So, now are you ready to begin investing, Rocky? Rocky smiles. Absolutely. And are you and Kumar ready to see that glorious sunrise? Kumar and Mr. Khan reply wholeheartedly. Yes, we are. So, remember...